sitting only two or three shots. I'ma show you how to turn it up a notch. First, you get a swimming pool full of liquor. What's up guys, Peter here, and today we're going to be talking about the new archetype that is very overpowered that nobody really knows about. After patch 6, as you guys all know, patch 6 did drop this week and has made a lot of changes, especially to playmakers and speed boosting. It has made people make some new players, try them out because they heard certain things have gotten buffed, and this archetype has gotten buffed so much, it's completely overpowered, it's literally unstoppable, uh, just like how sharpshooters used to be before like patch 1 but it's even more than that because it's more consistent and i'm gonna be telling you guys about it in this video so make sure you guys drop a like subscribe if you're new and let's get right into it so uh basically uh like a lot of things basically every archetype was uh nerfed in this patch except for i'm pretty sure two i think it left the post score alone but uh every like playmakers don't shoot as well sharpshooters don't even shoot as well stretch bigs they changed the releases too i know solo Manati was talking about that and uh, it, they did change some of the releases or they just changed the timing some i'm not exactly sure but there's two archetypes that because th they got buffed but because of the shooting all around being nerfed they're even more overpowered one of them is kind of overpowered but it just got a buff and another one if you do use him right you will win every single game i promise you especially walk on which of course does give you more rep and uh, you're gonna have to use the strategy now I did, uh, if you were watching my stream when I when this person played against me, that's the only program loss I've gotten this year, of, of course besides like lagouts, but uh, that really made me think, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. So basically there's two archetypes that did get buffed, that is the athletic finisher and the slashers. So uh, basically, why, why are the athletic finisher and slasher so good now? Now it's mainly the slasher, the athletic finisher is kind of the, the slasher version of a big man, but can't really run you can't really do a lot of different things but uh basically the reason why they're good because 2k did buff them they make them make more contested layups uh, they made them faster stuff like that but since the overall shots have been nerfed uh it basically makes it more overpowered to just go into the paint and score that way so athletic finisher obviously they just make more contested layups now they actually did buff their mid-range i've seen athletic finisher like basically Every single archetype in this game can make a wide open mid range. Like, there's no excuse. That's basically how this game works. And I've seen athletic finishers make a lot more. But um, basically, the slasher was buffed so much, it's literally unstoppable. It's so overpowered if you use the certain strategy that this one team was using against me in walk on. And yeah, again, if you were in the stream, uh, you know what I'm talking about. And I don't know if I still have that stream saved because I've streamed a lot since then. But uh, basically, this is how it works. So. You need a good defensive team, just all around defensive team, and this obviously works in park as well. And uh, what you're doing with your slasher is basically you're gonna have a good defensive stop, and you're gonna want a center that can pass the ball up the court pretty well, or he doesn't have to pass it up all the way. You can have somebody at half court, and then that person pass it all the way up the court. But uh, basically, what you're gonna want to do is get a good defensive stop. You're gonna want, a, of course, a center that can get boards. If he does have Hall of Fame break starter or just even break star on gold, it will help the pass go faster, but all you're gonna wanna do from that point is have your slasher. Now, this is the thing. This is why the slasher is so overpowered. So they have this badge called One Man Fast Break. They can obviously get on Hall of Fame. There's, there's also four other Hall of Fame badges that are very overpowered that go with this, such as Posterizer. And what you wanna do is you can have a 610 slasher and you could have him running 90 90 speed with ball or without ball after this patch he's so fast and basically all you have to do is get a good defensive stop and he doesn't even have to cherry pick he can still play defense he can still have a good like he can still play defense as soon as the shot goes up as soon as you get the rebound as long as he starts running down the court nobody will be able to catch him because if he does have hall of fame one man fast break uh basically he won't be able to get caught because uh, they buffed it to where the point like you pretty much have a 99 speed on ball and off ball with this And even if somebody is down there you could play four, you could play like a four-man defense, right? Even if somebody's down there, they will dunk on you every single time. It's literally unstoppable I had one of my good friends have like 40 dropped on him Obviously, this was my only pro and loss and he's a good player too And he also was a slasher. He just didn't have Hall of Fame badges and uh, basically like he was just getting shitted on because there's nothing you can do about this new strategy with this new archetype and yeah all you got to do is as long as you have a good open lane obviously on a fast break uh you can even do this when it's not a fast break but yeah when you're on a fast break 
you will never be able to stop. You could have three people in the paint. This happens sometimes. You could have three people in the paint, and he'll just dunk over everybody, especially if he's 6'10". And think of it, you'll, you'll still be just as fast because you have this Hall of Fame badge. Uh, he'll dunk over everybody. He just won't care. So wh whatever slash you make, that's a new overpowered strategy with a new overpowered player. But that's just not it yet. Slashers can somehow shoot three just now. I have no idea how. I was playing with a slasher the other day. He was making fadeaway threes in people's faces. And he didn't have a modded controller or anything because I, I know the guy. And like I can tell he didn't have one because he was missing like wide open. And modded controller is different. But basically, you know the modded controller that gives you all greens. But yeah, that's basically the new overpowered archetype. Using this strategy, you'll literally be unstoppable. So, uh, 610 slasher is the best to make, but you do have to build them right. So, I will be making a build for the most overpowered slasher. And uh, obviously, if they do nerf this, because it actually is unstoppable, it's just so uncommon because nobody really has a good slasher that has all Hall of Fame badges and that really knows of this strategy. Because many people use it on walk on, and you're not going to see a bunch of people do this on walk on, you know what I mean? So. Uh, like the chances of you encountering this is much slimmer than playing like park because obviously the games are longer and you're playing less games but uh yeah that's basically the new strategy uh, for slashers if they do nerf this they'll probably end up buffing it again just because there's been like six patches this game and like two like hot fixes or whatever you want to call them so the game's only been out for two months so obviously as soon as they buff something or the, like as soon as they buff something you're gonna nerf it again just like the playmakers threes so uh, just don't delete this player if they do end up nerfing it because they might realize how overpowered this is but anyway let me know what you guys think about this of course in the comment section below and again stay tuned for an overpowered slasher build that you'll be able to use this strategy with and you'll honestly never lose a game with this so yeah make sure you guys drop a like again subscribe if you're new and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace